and what's going on fontaine here vipsoundlab.com and we're back on another tutorial video this time this is going to be a member request video i just got an email in regards to how to integrate machine 2.2.4 with the new fl12 now the member was basically wanted to know how they can integrate machine without doing a lot of routing and you know setting up mini channels and stuff like that so when you're doing it this way you have individual control yet using machines internal plugins as well so machine in effect basically is going to become a sound module at this point it's basically what i'm getting at and i hope that makes sense to you and if it does not it will in a few minutes now if you want to follow along at home i have uh this uh template here which basically is going to give you everything that you see in this video and as well as the sounds for the kit as well so you have this flp file here as well as the machine mxprj file here so you guys can set it up follow along at home we also threw in some free uh background skins so those wallpapers are in there uh for example this uh skin in the background here all right so let's go ahead and dive into it let's open up uh machine all right so here's machine 2.2.4 and if you want to know where to set that up it's right wait hold on it's right here makes you right here i have a little midi pattern loaded up and we'll get into that let's go ahead and show you guys how i got this set up all right so you have um actually i have three sounds here okay i have three sounds here and you notice that each sound is set up on its own uh note here as you can see right there i'm tapping on the sounds like so and this one is over here all right so if you look at the scale on that you notice how they're individually separated they're not in the, on the same uh keynotes so then that way they don't have to overlap each other i mean if you wanted to stack and layer sounds keep in mind that a sound uh you can put 128 uh notes on the the zone range uh you can stack and layer sounds you know whether through uh you know if you want to trick them by velocity stack and layer sounds you know whatever you want to do you can loop up sound make instruments all that good stuff but anyway the reason why i'm doing it like this you're probably saying well why not just take these same hi-hats and these snares and just you know increase the zone range here and just put it all on one sound no i don't want to do that the reason why i don't want to do that is because i want to have individual control over my drums using machine as a sound module okay you have a master level a group level as well as a sound level the master and the group sound level in this particular situation isn't going to do me any good for what i'm trying to achieve here because remember these are kicks okay it's a different frequency you have frequencies that can clash and they fight for spaces in the mix to coexist meaning that i'm using machine as a sound module on the sound level plug in right up under my sampler i have some internal plugins that are built into machine as well as external plugins so the choice is yours you know, another way you can do it, you can come over here, grab a blank group, you know, set up an effects chain. And you can come over to what your um your aux is and set up your destination that way. But that is another video. Take a look at that video, setting up effects chains on our channel, and you will understand that better. All right, so here's our sounds. We can come back and we can add plugins and stuff like that if we choose to. Okay, we'll go ahead and we'll minimize this. Well, actually, no, I'm not going to minimize that. Let me put this to the side right here because I want to see if I can show you if I can get all this on the screen. Where is the, uh, okay, let's grab the piano roll. All right, so here's the piano roll inside of FL12. Down here is the velocity notes. Up here is the icon where if I want to zoom in or zoom out of these notes, I can do it like so. So let's go ahead and put it like this to get, well, let's go ahead and play the pattern first. Let's, uh, let's go ahead and rewind that. All right, so that's a simple pattern. Now, I wouldn't make a beat like that. I'm only making this pattern for the sake of the tutorial video. But what's cool about this way, you notice how when I tap on the keys here, instead of it going up and down the scale, let's say if I had, okay, over here on the zone map, if I just had one kick, okay, spread across 
the zone range with it with this root note say right here on c3 instead of having that kick going up and down like bit a bit a bit a bit bit a bit a bit a bit a bit you know something that i don't want it's a lot easier this way because now what's happening is i'm having the ability let's open this up here to change these sounds in real time i got this kick here this kick here kick here You know, and then you has it's very velocity uh, sensitive, by the way. See the the further I move that to the left, the quieter the note is. But anyway, so let's say if I have these kicks here, and I was like, you know what, when that beat was uh, first starting, I really didn't like how those notes were sounding off. What I can do is I can take those kicks and I'll rearrange them. So that way we have real time browsing of the sounds now. Fast, easy, all at our fingertips. Basically what we're doing is we're now using machine as a sound module from this point so I thought that was a pretty cool tip I figured I'd share it with you guys and you know again the machine that you know you always can come back here under sound level you know if you want to come in here and you know maybe add something maybe like I don't know let's grab a um let's grab a saturated plug in here and maybe grab a tube or something and maybe you want to try to make something a little more bass heavy a little more punchy or whatever affecting that on the sound level just on these kicks here then go back to our piano roll just that kicks being affected Now, you immediately notice how those kicks were uh, being affected by me using that plugin on that level, which is a sound level using the saturated plugin, which is only affecting these kicks. Now, in the hi hat, you have the option to add another plugin, maybe like an EQ, you know, and then you come over, over here to the snare and add, you know, basically whatever it is, you know, that you want to do to make your sound sound a lot more fatter. For example, a maximizer here. So let's go to grab uh, this maximizer here and we'll set the amount for let's say 54%. We'll adjust the curves just slightly a little bit. And we'll go back over here to the piano roll. You immediately notice how loud that snare is. Now if I go back over here,
all being triggered. from a very easy and convenient location inside FL12. All right, so I figured that would be a pretty important tip to share with you. That way you don't have to worry about routing this, routing that, or getting things set up, you know, in a super complex way, you know, by you being a new member, this should be very easy to get you going really quickly to get your machine integrated with your FL12. Now again, machine becomes a sound module at this point. And what I want you guys to do is actually come by the website, download these template projects and uh, follow along at home. That way you guys can get an idea of how this works. You know, if you're getting tripped up, or if you just want to follow along at home, I think it's a great way. This is a great resource to get in there and, you know, really get things going out of the box. Also, I did want to mention, we are also hiring. If you're a sound designer and you're looking to sell some of your drum kit sounds, be sure to come by our website, click on the about us link down here where it says we are hiring sound and software developers. And by clicking on that, we go through some of our criteria. You know, if you're a sound designer and if you, you know, are someone who has some of the skills that we're looking for, as you can see right here, here are some of the ideal candidates qualifications, you know, you, you know, just basically run through this and you can send your application uh, directly to me here. And we also have VSTs on the market. We also are hire software plugin developers as well. If you haven't seen our new Beast Mode Virtual Drum Machine, be sure to check that out as well. That is a banging drum machine. Basically, it's giving you kind of like an MPC workflow uh, with built-in compressors and reverb modules. You know, just, just basically give you a faster workflow. So that is an awesome uh, plugin in itself. And these are some of our latest projects uh, that we have been working on. And also, just as a reminder, uh, all drum kits by us contain original source material created by us, from drum samples to synth sounds, all sound sources and material we create is 100% royalty free and are verified sound sources that are date and time stamped. Our custom tweaked sounds are created from original drum synthesis. We also record samples in major studios, recording real drum sets, real acoustic drums, hardware synths and drum synths. We also stack and layer some of our own custom synthesized drum samples to create original drum samples. So, um, yeah, man, I hope that makes sense to you. If not, maybe I could break it down another way that can uh, jazz in your head a little bit more. But I'm pretty sure that's going to work um, pretty easy for you. Because as, as you can see right here in the mixer, you know, there's not any routing, you know, of individual uh, MIDI notes this way. You know what I mean? We could do it that way. It might be more CPU intensive, but I felt this was a very easy way uh, just to get you going out of the box really quickly. But, you you know, you're not losing that control over your drums, being able to mix them. You know, basically almost like an effects chain in a way without having to use, you know, the auxes over here. Now, if you want to set up an effects chain, you could do that also by just grabbing a blank group here, you know, and you know, we have a video on that if you want to set up an effects chain here. And if you want to route, you know, sounds to other plugins, you can do it that way too. So the choice is up to you. It's your boy Fontaine, VIPSoundLab.com, showing you how you can integrate Machine 2.2.4 as a sound module inside FL12, yet keeping its ability to have total and complete control over those sounds while in another DAW environment and triggering those sounds from the piano roll. like so all right you guys have fun it's your boy fontaine i will see you guys on the next one peace